Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up non-inventory parts within the item list. A non-inventory part is used to create items that are bought and or sold, but that are not tracked as inventory parts. QuickBooks tracks neither the quantity on hand nor the value of non-inventory part items. Like all items, you create non-inventory part items by first opening the item list. To then create a new item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window, and then select the New command. In the New Item window that appears, you can then select Non-Inventory Part from the Type drop-down. The fields that appear in the new item window are similar to the ones shown when you created an inventory part item. First enter a name for the part into the item name and number box. If you want this to be a sub-item of another part, then check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main non-inventory part item under which the current item should be placed from the adjacent drop-down. If needed, you can then enter a part number into the Manufacturer's Part Number field. Next, enter a description of the part to display in Invoices and Sales Receipts into the Description field. You would then enter the price, set the tax code, and assign the amount to an income account using the Income Account drop-down. Now for non-inventory parts, which are purchased for a specific customer job, you can check the This item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job checkbox in order to change the fields that are available. Now if it is checked, the fields available will be the same ones that are used when creating inventory part items. So in this case, you enter the information for the purchasing side of the item into the fields shown in the Purchase Information section. You then enter the information that's used for sales into the Sales Information group of fields. This allows you to use the item in both purchase and sales transactions. Once you've created your non-inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.